Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss Copland, starring Sylvester Stallone, Harvey Keitel, Ray Liotta, Robert De Niro, Peter Berg, Janine Garofalo, Robert Patrick, and Robert and Michael Rappaport, directed by James Mangold, who's a director I've reviewed a few times, from Logan to The Wolverine to Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, and that's about it. And I'm doing a playing a little game of catch up with this movie with his filmography leading up to the new movie called A Complete Unknown, which is about the biopic of Bob Dylan. Now, maybe there might be some that might be good movies. There might be some that might be bad movies. Oh, and I forgot I did do Ford versus Ferrari at one point. I forgot about that thing for some reason at all, even though it was a fun, entertaining movie. But let's get into this movie, and we'll go up until uh, we get to Christmas. Let's get into this movie. In Garrison, New Jersey, we start off with Sheriff Freddie Heflin, played by Sylvester Stallone, playing a little pinball while Gary Figgies, played by Ray Liotta, may he rest in peace, talks some business with a woman at a bar, and Gary makes a phone call as Freddie is deaf in one ear, and they go outside the bar to get some quarters to continue playing some pinball, but Gary sends him home as he drives home and by he, he, I'm talking about um, Freddy. Yeah, that's his name, Freddy. And he drives home while he gets in a car crash of some kind. While in New York City, we get police officer Murray Babich. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Please forgive me. A.K.A. Superboy, played by Michael Rappaport. Driving on the highway and stops at a couple of gangsters. Stops a couple of gangsters in the middle of the bridge and gets into a crash with the criminals. And some of the characters are mediocre at best, while others come off very unlikable. Murray's uncle is Lieutenant Ray Donlin, played by Harvey Keitel, arriving at the crime scene. And so does Jack Rucker, played by Robert Patrick, is in it, on it, is in on it. As well as Murray finding the criminal's weapon. And a paramedic worker picks a fight with Murray as he grabs the gun because he's led to believe Murray is a racist motherfucker while someone jumps, and there's too much shit going on in this movie as it was bothering me from the get-go. For example, Freddy has some breakfast, and we learn, move on to Lieutenant Mull Tilden, played by Robert De Niro, is interrogating a criminal, and Freddy is out looking for speeders with Deputy Cindy Betts, played by Janine Garofalo, stopping, stopping Ray and Murray, and... Freddy comes in with Ray and Murray coming off like an like a couple of assholes to Cindy while she was just doing her fucking job. And Freddy stops it by pulling her away while Murray is acting like a prick and are cops trying to be such prick assholes while nobody is doing something wrong? Like, are these motherfuckers trying to cause trouble? And unfortunately, it's some of... To, and it's the same with today's society as this plot is all over the place at this point. Ray, Murray, Jack bump into Mo at a restaurant while Freddy sees them through the window, and Mo sees Freddy while Freddy hears some kids beating up on one kid and tells them to knock it off and go somewhere else. And Mo gives Freddy his business card as Freddy sees the turtle on top of a car, which happens to belong to a kid of Liz Randone, whose husband is Joey Randone, played by Peter Berg. And Freddy has some cr has some crush on Liz, as she complains about the neighbor's trash on their lawn. And the neighbor happens to be Ray and Rose Donlin, played by Kathy Moriarty, respectively. And Freddy chats with Rose, and she denies it as Ray comes home. And Freddy watches one of his own deputies pulling off over an African American couple, while they were just watching the view as they get harassed by the deputy. And I personally think these characters are completely despicable in so many ways. Freddy and Gary are in a bar while Joey Wall... Gary picks a fight with Joey as he's, a, he's, stick, he's sick of the NYPD as he goes up to Ray, Murray, and Jack. And Joey Wall, have, they have some beers and he wants to be in the NYPD. And he picks a fight with Jack and puts a bullet in his nose, nose excuse me. And yells at Ray about his partner, and the acting in this is t fucking horrible. 
while the writing is terrible, as we move on to nighttime, and Joey has an argument fight with Liz as this motherfucker is drunk out of his goddamn mind. And the directing on this by director James Mangold pulls off real life, but doesn't want to entertain the audience with this bullshit. Well, meanwhile, we get Freddy dreaming of a flashback of how Ray saved Liz in the first place from a car crash, and he wakes up, up to a fire call. And one of Gary's contacts named Monica it has gotten burned and dies, and Ray has a conversation with Gary, and at this point, this movie feels completely careless. They go to Monica's funeral while Mo visits Freddy and with Detective Carson, and they show him photographs after the funeral of Ray, of how Ray, Murray, Jack, and Joey are corrupt cops, and Freddy has a hard time believing it as they ha offer Freddy a job in the NYPD while Gary comes off comes in with Mo continually ch chatting with Freddy to think about what his decision is while Ray chats with Freddy about what's happening to his crooked department while they're having a party and Rose yeah Rose gives Murray a drink and like she's going to poison him and this whole movie feels crooked in so many ways as the editing felt a little choppy for half of it Liz worries about Joey while at the party and goes to Freddy as he kisses her and they start smooching up a storm while Murray reads a note Rose wrote specifically for him. And he goes to the backyard at Ray's house to find Ray while Jack gets outside and suffocates Murray to death and shoots him dead and Joey arrives and I'm having a really hard time keeping Murray and a few of the NYPD guys apart as they have a blondish brown hair while Mo finds out the case is closed with the murder of Murray and good riddance as he was one of the characters I had a hard time keeping apart while Joey wants out of the NYPD while Joey talks disrespectfully to Freddy and Gary knowing something is up with these motherfuckers while I'm having a very hard time with the movie at this point as it's giving me a hard time to enjoy it because I'm not enjoying this piece of shit. Joey gets into a fight with some guys saying he quit the force until Ray and his men get to where he's at and he's hanging on a ledge trying to not fall to his death while Ray is looking for the bastard and he gets up back up and goes to Freddy and Gary saying Ray wants to kill him because he quit the force because he knows his gang of cops are crooked as Joey is killed and they have a funeral and F Freddy chats with Ray about how he makes men police officers as Ray says to Freddy he's just a little boy and tells him off and this dialogue is too much crap. Freddy goes to New York City to talk with Mo saying he was right about Ray and his crooked cops and Mo decides to give up after the case is closed and Mo says Freddy blew it after the case is closed and walks out and steals every single file about the corrupt cops working for Ray and shows it to Cindy and they're and along with another deputy, learning Ray and his NYPD cops are crooked. Well, not Ray. Well, yeah. Ray is crooked. What am I talking about? And looks through photos of Freddy himself along with the NYPD as he used to be one of them. And he plans on bringing them in to Mo while Cindy is going back upstate. And there's a carnival going on and Jack approaches Freddy as they shoot at the star on a piece of paper and Freddy visits Liz and have an argument about Joey with the NYPD and I'm just annoyed with the movie at this point. Freddy looks for traces of proof of the NYPD is crooked and Gary approaches him and tells him he's going back to New York City and Freddy tells him to get the hell out of there as Freddy finds Rose to ask her where Ray is at and he looks for him and finds Joey and Gary turning around and never coming back to town. And Joey tells Freddy he's everything and takes him to New York to mow and raise cops capture Joey and Jack shoots Freddy's hearing away. And that wasn't necessary for him to do so as he's already deaf in one ear, which is a stupid enough choice as it is. Freddy kills the NYPD corrupt cops and is almost dead until Gary comes into the rescue to kill Ray and Freddy and Gary get Joey to Mo in New York City and Mo invites him inside their station. As we hear on the news, Freddy gets his hearing back as he continues to be the sheriff of Garrison, New Jersey. 
while stra starting at staring at the city of New York and drives off with his deputies. And the climax was not worth the what the movie is is as this movie is about corrupt cops for damn sure. And we'll see if that's handled it how we'll see if they handled it badly in a rating. I'll give this movie a 3.6 out of 10. Director James Mangold does a good job at making this feel real life, but a bad job at making the audience entertained by this bullshit, as this movie feels careless, and at the same time, I don't really like the characters, as they come out despic rather despicable in so many ways. The plot felt like it was all over the place. Like, what the fuck was the point of all this, all this shit to begin with? And I had a very hard time with a couple of the guys with the blondish brown hair on both sides who had a... Yeah. And that bothered me from the get-go, and the editing felt choppy for half of it. I had a hard time with the movie as it was giving me a hard time to enjoy it, which I didn't. I didn't because this was a bad movie, and this is a non-recommendation. And despite this is James Gold Man, Mangold's first feature-length film, I started with but in my opinion this just felt like a waste of time so don't bother watching this movie so i would like to thank you guys for joining me and next time i will be back with girl interrupted and until then good night